Hello, everybody. Um, so I'm Andrew, uh, one of the co-founders of uh, Publons. We've, we're about four years old, and uh, we really see peer review as being the thing that's at the heart of research. Um, you know, without it, it would be very hard to trust or really understand or contextualize the world's research. So our mission is to, to double down on peer review and make peer review great again. Um, I should say that my background is as a physicist. Um, so the only book I've ever come close to publishing was my thesis. Um, I don't know if that counts as a book. It was certainly heavily peer reviewed, but uh, perhaps in a different way. And that actually points to one of the things that I'm keen to dig in today, which is that book publishing relative to journal publishing, where we spend a lot of our time, doesn't seem to have the same sort of standard formats and approaches to things. And that's a real challenge when you look at doing um, anything that can be used at scale around the world. Um, but before I get to that, I think what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about what Publons actually does for those of you who aren't familiar. It's a chance here. Um, and I'll raise some questions that we have about book review because it's something that comes up a lot in terms of user feedback. Um, and then I'm really excited about the, the session, the next one. I think this is a big learning opportunity. So, so Publon is all about um, peer review. One of the key things in, in research um, is that uh, you know the way you progress your career and show your expertise is by publishing things. Um, and those are the things you put on your CV, and that's how you progress. Um, really, our goal with Publons is to turn peer review into one of those things that can go on your CV and help you to develop your career. Um, if you're asked to be a peer reviewer, you're an expert in your field, and you should be recognized as such for your expertise and the time that you're putting in. So how do we do that? Um, we collect peer reviews from a range of different sources. Um, we pull them together, and we put together a profile that looks um, well looked a little bit like that in 2015 or so. It's progressed a little bit. Um, but the basic idea is you can say who you are, you can say the places you've reviewed for, and then down the bottom you can see a list of all the, um, the reviews that you've done. Um, in most of the cases here, they're um, anonymous peer reviews, but you can see there's a green tick. Well, hopefully you can see there's a green tick beside each, each, besides each review, which points out one of the key things that Publons does is behind the scenes, when a review is added to Publons, we work with publishers and editors to verify that that review actually happened. Um, and that's really critical in a space where anonymity is kind of one of the key things. Um, what's the net result of this? Um, well, some of my favorite tweets ever. Um, this is the same, the same research as Stephen Roberts, basically saying that, you know, now that I'm getting some sort of recognition for my reviews, I'm much more motivated to, to, to do a review, and I actually think my review is better. Um, and you can go on down the line. We have um, so many anecdotes now of um, even professors on uh, tenure committees who will reach out and say, hey, I just discovered Publons when somebody in their tenure application submitted their peer review record, and I just think this is fantastic, and I want to add my own reviews. And often those folks, by the way, have a lot of trouble adding reviews for, for whatever reason, because um, they have hundreds of them. Um, the way Publons work, there's, there's two simple ways to add reviews. Um, as a user or a researcher, you can add a review to Publons. Or we partner with um, many publishers to automate that process through the editorial management system. In either case, we standardize and verify the review and um, build you both a private record and a public manifestation of that record. Um, one of the key things here is something in between those two things, um, a downloadable record of those things that you can attach to your CV. This is a screenshot of an actual real life screenshot of mine. Um, two clicks for a researcher to download this, and this is one of the main features that people use for green card applications, uh, tenure, uh, tenure reviews, performance reviews, all these sorts of things. This is what people do. Um, again, when they do that, they stand out. Um, this seems to be a really important thing in research, and I think um, that's why 150,000 people are now using the system, um, well over three quarters of a million reviews added to Publons. Um, for basically every journal in the world. Um, on the flip side, we work with um, many publishers. Um, for publishers, there are journal article publishers. There seem to be two key problems. The researcher is now the customer, um, and reviewers will be those customers in the future. And 
it's really about providing the best possible experience you can to a um, to a to a, to that end user, and then also just getting review done and getting it done well is a real challenge at scale. Um, so we've built some things, and we work now with four of the top five publishers in the world. Um, uh, but over 1,300 journals are now integrated into Publons, and that's continuing to grow. So um, pretty good uptake in the journal world. Um, so the question then is, what's next? Uh, you talk to, you guys will know, book publishers seem to face the same problems. Um, and it's certainly true that book reviewers want the same recognition. Um, that's really one of our top requests. Um, we're always listening to user feedback. And we always get um, input from users that they want recognition for different forms of review. Right now, we support journal articles and we support um, reviews of conference proceedings. But um, by far, our most common uh, range of requests is recognition for grant reviews, for conference abstracts, um, for reviewing books and reviewing data sets. And obviously, this is a topic about books. But each of these has their own intricacies and things that need to be worked through if you want to do recognition for review of these things well. Um, because the thing is, in principle, you can identify or you can recognize anything that has an identifier. Um, but as soon as you dig into it, for us, some key questions come up. So for example, um, when people submit book reviews to us, because they do, and you dig in, um, you've got to ask, was, did you actually review the book, or did you review the book proposal, or did you review both? And it seems to be that a combination of all these things is happening um, when people want recognition. Uh, then another question is, you know, did you, if this is a compilation, did you review just one chapter in the book, um, or did you review the entire book? Um, we've also had troubles where, um, you know, people will say, this is the editor of my review, because um, that's the person we tend to ask to verify the review. Um, but often that editor is the editor of the compilation. It's not the editor actually involved in the peer review process, and they're different people. Um, and then, the other question is, what platform um, did you actually perform this review on? Um, and it seems that it's mostly um, uh, not on a platform. Um, so that was uh, it's really exciting to see the, the editorial manager pro uh, progress there. So I thought I'd just segue into the way Publons works now with publishers that use editorial management systems. There's obviously the submission, um, uh, manuscript submission, reviewer invitation, review submission workflow. We plug into these things. Um, and basically add a question to the editorial management system saying, do you want to get recognition for review? And it works seamlessly. That doesn't seem to be possible at any scale in the book review space. The other thing is book reviewers seem to be paid um, sometimes, either in, um, in you know, credits or actually in money, I've heard. Um, and that's another thing to try and factor into all of this. But the key question we're always asking ourselves and the result of all these questions is, if you look at somebody's profile and you verify the review, what did they review? What actually goes there to help people look good? That's what we're trying to figure out if we're going to do anything in, in book review. Hmm. And I guess that kind of leads me to the, the semi-conclusion I have here. I don't know that this is a, an ask. It's just more of an observation. It's that in the journal world, things like citations and impact factors or whatever, um, these standards are actually pretty useful if you want to do anything um, that spans fields and spans the ecosystem. Um, you know, books are a little bit different. They, are, they seem much more diverse, and that does make, um, make things challenging in some other areas. And there's a trade-off there. So I don't know that I'm advocating for anything, but I just wanted to observe that, that there's a slight difference there. Um, and by the way, that's why I was just added this while the last session was happening. That's why a lot of the initiatives today were quite interesting. You know, they are starting to bring some of that, the standard that's in the journal world to the book world, in my opinion. So um, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, really keen to learn more. Um, and hope that explained a little bit about peer review and some of the ways in which we're thinking about things and would like help with and to collaborate on going forward. Thank you.